Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to test something that one of my commenters on one of my videos uh, suggested and I really want to see if it makes a huge difference or if it's something you can't even do because it will make the food in your refrigerator uh, spoil. So what the idea was is that you set up your off-grid uh, power supply. So I've got a 100 amp lithium iron phosphate 12 volt battery right here. Um, and it's connected to my alpha 1500 watt inverter. So the idea is you uh, power it for a half hour and then you keep it off for three and a half hours. And then you just do that cycle uh, the whole time. <clears throat> and I wanna know how long this battery will last during that cycle. And I'm gonna put a thermometer in the refrigerator, like maybe like in a glass of water or something like that, to make sure that the temperature of the products inside doesn't reach an unsafe uh, temp. Uh, because I think the health code says that after two hours, uh, your, food should not, your, your food should not be over 40 degrees for more than two hours. So I'll be coming out here uh, to check it after two hours to see what the temperature is and then I'll check it again uh, right before the cycle starts to see what the temperature is. So that's kind of the idea. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this refrigerator has been running normally plugged into the grid uh, this whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull out just a random can of, you know, some random beverage. And uh, I'm gonna put this neat thermometer in there. And so it should be the temperature of the refrigerator since those have all been in there for weeks. Um, and we will start with that. So let's go ahead and drop this in and make sure our temp is good. And what we're gonna be using, we're just gonna open up this can of uh, Topo Chico hard seltzer spiked sparkling water. Um, I think someone brought this over. We never drink it, so that's why I don't care about wasting it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up, drop the thermometer in, and get this started. Okay, uh, I, I just had technical difficulties out the yin yang right here. Um, well, first of all, my battery decided that it was going to just uh, fault out for some reason. You know what, in, in, what I did was I was in a hurry and I did not bring out a resistor and I just, I just put the, the inverter right on the battery and it sparked. I think that freaked out my battery and it, and it put it into like, uh, the, I noticed that the MOSFETs saying that they were not working anymore. But all I did was I, bring out, I brought out this 50 amp battery, um, pretty much woke the BMS back up and the inverter turned right back on as soon as I did it. And then while I was doing that, my microphone battery died. So we'll just see how this works, but let's go ahead and plug in the refrigerator and get that thing programmed. Uh, because now it's 919, so I kind of got to hurry. Plugging in the refrigerator and turning on the switch. Okay, the refrigerator is plugged into the inverter and battery, so let's go ahead and pull up the screen on the Tyco Run 12-volt uh, battery. And you can see that uh, you know, our state of charge is now down to 99%, but our current is, um, it's, it's pulling about 13 amps of current right now. So it's doing exactly what it should be doing. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is let's program that, uh, that plug so it shuts off at 930. Okay, and now I'm, I'm on my uh, Sonoff app, which is uh, what that plug is. So I'm going to go to Schedule. And you can see that I have a bunch of schedules in here from the first time I just saw, I just wanted to figure out what I could do. So let's go ahead and change these. So the first time is going to be, it's going to turn off at 9.30 a.m. So 9.30, the action is going to be off. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this all out as much as I can. I believe I can get up to 12 hours of, uh, of programming in here. So we'll go throughout that, and if I need to add more, which I'm sure I will, um, I'll go ahead and get it done. Okay, the inverter just kicked on, but uh, I got all the programming done. And also my, uh, 
my microphone died again, so that's why I got a charging cable, so it looked like a 1980s uh, game show host. Okay, but uh, let's look at the screen. You can see that it will turn off at 9.30 p.m. Or it will turn off at 9.30 a.m., and that is in one minute. So it should be shutting off here in a second. And then it won't turn back on until 1 p.m. So that's three and a half hours, because it should turn on it should turn on every four hours is how I, how I have it set. So I hope, I don't know if I, I don't think I explained that right at the beginning of this video, uh, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna be four hour cycles. And in that cycle, it's gonna be on for a half hour. And there we go, it just shut off though. The refrigerator just shut off and it won't turn back on until, uh, until one o'clock PM. And you can see on the switch, the switch, uh, on the screen on my phone, it shut off because that event actually happened. So uh, the next thing is going to happen that it's going to turn back on at one o'clock and that's three and a half hours and it will stay on for a half hour. So from one to one thirty, it will stay on and then it will shut back off and it will just keep doing that. So let's go ahead and see what our battery is at. And our battery is at 97%. And so also let's go ahead and look at the thermostat to make sure that it's still sitting like right around, you know, 42 degrees. All right, and our thermostat for our sparkling beverage is sitting right at 41 degrees. So 41 degrees is going to be our starting point for how long this refrigerator is going to be turned off. So I'll come back out in a couple hours and see what the, the temperature of this beverage is and then I'll come out right before it kicks back on to see what it is. And if you want to know more information about this refrigerator or this setup, I've done this before where I just tested how long this battery can actually last. And I, do you know what, I can't remember. I think it was like 11 hours, maybe 13 hours. I'm gonna say 13 hours just because it's a bigger number. Um, but here, watch the video. I'll make a, put a little, a, I'll put a little thing to it in the, in the upper corner. Um, if you want to know more information about powering this off-grid. But yeah, I, I have no idea how well this is going to work, how much longer it's going to give us for power-wise, or if it's even safe. You know, you don't want to eat a bunch of food that's been sitting at 50 degrees for an hour every four hours because bacteria can really start growing at that point. Uh, so yeah, I'll come back in a couple hours and we'll see where our numbers are at. Okay, well, it is now 11.30 in the morning, uh, so it's been two hours. So let's see what our, uh, our beverage temperature is at in the refrigerator. Okay, and after two hours, it is sitting at 42 degrees. So it's only raised up, you know, a degree in the last two hours. Now, granted, I have not opened up this refrigerator. Um, I do want to open it real quick just to show you that it is off because it's right in the middle of its off four hour cycle. So let's just open it up real quick. You can see no light, no nothing. It is off. And then also I want to show you uh, the state of our battery. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull it up on the, uh, the screen right over here. And you can see that the battery is still at 96%. So it's gone down 3% in the last two hours. So. If this works out and when this kicks on, if this gets cooled down to the point where the water or the beverage gets down to you know, 41, 40 again, whatever, this could be a very viable option. So let's just wait another two hours and see what our numbers are. Okay, well, uh, I kind of screwed up a little bit. I thought that the refrigerator was gonna turn back on at 1.30. I don't know what I was thinking, but it turned on at one and it's now 124. So it's been on for 24 minutes now. Uh, and the only reason I realized it is because when I stepped out into the garage, I could hear the inverter, uh, the fans on the inverter blasting. So with that said, right now the inverter is powering the refrigerator um, and it will turn off at 130. So let's look at the temperature of the, uh, the beverage that's in the refrigerator. And after 25 minutes of the refrigerator being on, the beverage is at 43 degrees. So that's kind of concerning, but we'll see uh, with the refrigerator being on for a little bit, 
if it cools down. Uh, let's also look at the, the health of the battery. I just pulled up the app on the battery. I'll just uh, show it to you on the screen here. Uh, it's still at 91% state of charge. And it is currently using uh, 12 point, you know, 12.7 amps. So battery wise, I mean, this is a really good option because it looks like, it looks like we'll, we'll be able to power this refrigerator for a lot longer than 13 hours. Um, but I'm concerned that the stuff in the refrigerator is not going to stay cool enough throughout this whole test. So um, I'll come back in a couple hours. Let's see, the, the refrigerator is going to turn off at 1.30, so in about five minutes. So I'll come back at 3.30 to see what the temperature of the beverage is. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, well, it is now 3.52. So I kind of missed my window, my two-hour window yet again. Um, but I wanted to show you that uh, the plan is, is that the, the refrigerator is going to kick back on at 5 o'clock. So in a little more than an hour. But you can see that the thermostat says uh, that that beverage in the refrigerator is 46 degrees. So that's kind of concerning to me. Um, and the temperature in this garage is right around 80 to 83 degrees. So it's not like boiling hot in here. So I hope that once the fridge kicks on, this goes down because 46 degrees, when you're talking about meat and cheese and dairy, um, that can be kind of concerning if it stays like that for a long time. So, um, but I'm just going to keep watching it. And I think right at probably right at 5.30, like right when, it's, right when it's about to shut off, we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at the battery and we'll look at the, uh, the temperature of uh, the refrigerator. Okay, well, we are back here. It is a little bit after 5.30. So the refrigerator turned on at five o'clock and then turned off again at 5.30. Um, first, let's look at the uh, state of the battery, which you can see is now at 84%. So. So battery wise, we are looking fine. I mean, we, we started this at 9.30 and now it's 5.30. So what is that, uh, eight hours? And we're only at 84%. So, I mean, we could easily go uh, 24 hours with this uh, power of this refrigerator. But the thing that concerns me is the temperature of my beverage. You can see that it says, 47 degrees. 47 degrees is not, it's not terrible by any means, but I was really hoping that this could hold temperature. Uh, and I kind of want to open the freezer real quick just to see what uh, the thermostat says in there. So I'm going to do that real fast. Yeah, and this thermostat says uh, a little over 10. So like maybe like 10 or 12 degrees in the freezer. So the freezer is staying frozen, <clears throat> but it's also getting a little bit warmer. Again, it's not hot in this garage at all. I mean, it's probably 80. Um, I mean, it's like I said, it's 530 now, so it's actually starting to cool off. Uh, but 47 degrees, I mean, if it gets, if it gets above 50 uh, in the refrigerator, uh, I don't care how much battery you're saving. I would not recommend doing this, but we'll just, we'll keep it going. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to wait another four hours. And so it'll be what after it'll be 930 when I come back out here and we'll see what the temperature and the battery status is then. All right, everyone. Well, it is now 930 at night. It's actually 931. So the refrigerator actually just shut off again and um, let's first let's look at the state of charge of the battery that's down here as you can see the battery is actually doing well it's at 78 percent state of charge so it's only i mean it's not even a third of the way down it's not even a quarter of the way down after 12 hours and I say 12 hours, but it's been 12 hours, but this battery has not been powering much for the 12 hours. It's only been powering for what, 
two hours. It's been powering this refrigerator, I think, for two hours. Um, and the refrigerator, the temperature of the refrigerator actually kind of shows it. Let's look at the temperature of the refrigerator. You can see that the beverage with the thermometer in it is now up to 51 degrees. Let's look at the temperature in the freezer right now. And the temperature is, it's past, look at that, it's past 30 degrees. So that, I mean, that is a cause for concern, um, I believe. Uh, with, with anything that you're trying to refrigerate, um, I'm sorry, but me personally, over 50 degrees, uh, that's just too warm, and I would actually start to worry about eating anything that was uh, meat or dairy um, because of uh, the possibility of of bacteria growth. So, uh, what? Uh, but I'm going to continue doing this. I want to see what's going to happen in the next 12 hours. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I reset all the timers on the. Uh, on that smart switch down there, or that smart plug, and I will come back between 9 and 9.30 tomorrow morning. And so that will be a full 24 hours of this experience. And we will see what the refrigerator is at, and we will see what the state of charge of the battery. If I feel then that, it, um, that it's not safe to do this, I will pretty much end this experiment. Uh, so, but until tomorrow, I will see you then. All right, good morning everyone. It is the next day and it is not, it's a couple minutes after 9.30 a.m. So it's been 12 hours since the last time we checked this out. I haven't even bothered looking at it because I want to be uh, surprised at the outcome. I hope it's not still sitting at 50. I really hope it's not higher than 50. Uh, it would be great if it got back down. That way I could continue this test. But if it's above or at 50 degrees, I'm afraid that I'm probably going to have to call it quits because I don't feel comfortable even promoting an option that could possibly make someone sick. But first, let's look at the battery. All right, and I just opened it up and the battery is at 63%. So after 24 hours, it only used... Um, a little over a third of the battery. So that is the good thing, but let's look at the actual temperature of the refrigerator. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's now 55 degrees. So uh, that's bad. Let's open up the freezer. Yeah, and the freezer, I mean the freezer's at 40. So everything in here, like, you know, this is supposed to be frozen. It's not, it's not frozen. This stuff is still, it feels pretty frozen, but uh, it's not, it's not holding temperature. It's not keeping things uh, at the range that a, a refrigerator freezer should be at. So this is definitely not a long-term solution. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna call this quits. Um, you know, I do believe that since the battery's only at 63% now, I mean, we could do this probably for 48, I mean, up to 60 hours maybe? That would be my guess, is that you could run this refrigerator for 60 hours, but you would not get what you wanted. So, uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.